ultimate level offer causes confusion. This player paid £20,000 is now banned. Kitty Pride Synergy with Nimrod not working. Okoye, Konshu and Mr. Knight in this fantastic Nick Koss video and much, much more. Yo, and we're back to a brand new week here in uh, Marvel Contest of Champions land. I've taken a little bit of uh, a break actually over the weekend, which was good, but I'm back firing on all cylinders, ready to do lots of stuff this week. And make sure to do usual, hit the like button, subscribe, and post notifications on all that stuff to keep up to date with stuff. We're doing guides, loads of stuff this week, loads of stuff planned. Really looking forward to smashing a brand new week. But let's get down to business. So for a lot of people, you may have seen that we've had an ultimate level rewards offer. So, I mean, when I first of all saw this, I was like, oh yeah, we, we get free stuff. And then I was like reading more like, oh no, no, we've got to, we've got to pay for something. I was like, damn. So basically, the further you go in the game, the more you can get when it comes to this offer. There was a bit of confusion about this being ass. Someone said, I'm curious about this offer. There's an existing version of this that was released a long time ago. And this appears to be an update to that. Is this meant to be a separate offer from their first one, as in a new account could get both of this and the original, or is this meant to replace the old one? So apparently this replaces the original offer if you had already purchased the existing offer, where there was a 5 star as the level 60 reward, you'll still receive those uh, as you level up, but a new player will only see this one. So there's a few bits of confusion with this. Someone said, since this is replacing an old offer with those that purchased the old one, get the upgrades, asking for a friend, not unless you purchase the new offer. If you already, if you're already level 60, you'll receive all of the rewards from that offer already. That and uh, the choice is yours if you want to purchase this one as well. So it's a bit of a, bit of a disappointing one um, with it, but uh, yeah, I hope it gives some clarity for those that are asking the question. Now, what of this Nimrod Kitty Pride problem? Well, the problem with Kitty Pride. So I saw this and I thought, well, this does need to be kind of like looked into because many people have said about it. So what's the issue? Nimrod's terminated synergy with Kitty Pride no longer generates a guaranteed critical hit for Kitty Pride. For those that don't know, this opens up possibilities, you know, for champion team selection. And you're like, oh, I'll take Kitty Pride in because heavy attacks guaranteed uh, critical hits. Um, so... That's a nice thing, especially for doing crit damage and consistency with champions. So, yes, many people saying that this is not working. This seemed to be like after the result of the la of the update, which came in this week, I want to say. God, no, last week. God, time goes so quickly to think that just a week ago we had a brand new update. And that was kind of like putting into our Tuesday time. So it looks like it would be triangulating between the uh, the kind of like new update going in. So a couple, first of all, like a couple people kind of like saying stuff and Kabam Zibit was asking, hey there, could they, you know, those who haven't seen, seen us yet, let us know what star rating, blah, blah, blah. In a nutshell, like th that that's not helping out matters. But then a couple more people, if you are using Nimrod with Kitty Pride, and let's face it, there's a multitude of synergies that anybody uses on a daily basis to kind of create teams around. Are you experiencing this particular issue? Uh, and yeah, it just would be nice for Kabam to maybe look into this for those that do that particular pair up. And now, Battlegrounds banned players carry over to arena compensation. Now, let's face it, over the recent months and definitely going to the start of this year, one of the big things was Kabam was giving compensation out to those that have been affected by those in arena that had cheated. And let's face it, cheating is going to be an ongoing thing in this game for a long time. I don't think we're ever at a point where it's being dealt with. That's basically going to kind of come up in a couple stories time when we talk about this banned player and this £20,000 uh, incident about the length of time someone is banned and also, yeah, just the length of time someone's banned. But the main thing when it comes to battlegrounds and arena compensation, right, the way that these two come together is the effects, the after effects. If someone is known to be cheating, which has affected some other player that's playing, played just like either really skilled, played like cleanly with no kind of like ads, mods, whatever it is, uh, you know, they are not going to get anything. The other player is not going to get anything from it. Well, you kind of, you'd hope someone would get something the same way that arena compensation has come in. Uh, a player asked, first of all, since commands confirmed they're taking action against accounts that were found to be cheating during battlegrounds. 
that will they also be tracked if those accounts also participate in arenas the last couple of months and bumped legit arena grinders out of ranked rewards so that's a very important thing it's something we talk about quite a lot because there is a lot of cheaters around still uh, that are not properly dealt with and especially not dealt with in the firmest sense which i'll uh, elaborate on in a minute I did a few months ago and a lot of people ended up getting the arena champs they missed out on and it would be awesome if the same is done again given the circumstances about Mike response to that saying we have not stopped taking action against those that cheat in arena and have been acting on them more quickly as we continue to improve the ways that we catch cheaters there may be some we missed in the past and if that is the case we'll look in we'll look at doing what they did before uh, again now for me, the way that I kind of like look at that is that yes, there needs to be an ongoing system of dealing with people that cheat in arena and also, you know, the, the rewards that people have missed out on to be given to uh, the people that, that, that grinded out fairly for that. But the same thing kind of comes and my biggest criticism of Battlegrounds, which is still not being addressed by Kabam, is that what happens to those that are affected by the cheating in Battlegrounds? And that will be the loss of energy for players that have experienced that, because that's a key thing. The second thing will be the points lost and the currency loss that they will experience as a result of what will potentially be a... In the things I don't imagine this being a on, an ongoing store type thing for Battlegrounds. It will probably be some sort of like leaderboard thing similar to uh, Wars. And this is why Alliance War ratings sometimes being taken down for those that have cheaters within their alliances. And I would hope that that is something that's dealt with in the future when it comes to Battlegrounds to, again, bring the fairness back to it. Because there's another element to the length of ban and how severe Kabam actually go, which could be a problem down the line. Now for consistency, I'm going to hot tag into the second part of this and talk about someone being banned, right? So I saw this here and this interests me. Uh, for a point of like, well, what is the extent of bans that are coming in? And like, uh, th there are a few from time to time. And I don't, I don't think we've had a ban wave, but I definitely think we've we've seen little bans kind of like here and there. So this player says, "Can you tell? Can you guys tell me why I've been banned for a week? So a week. Uh, I for sta stating um, TOS 11 when I have never and I will never use any bugs, glitches, exploits. I've never only I never once used the app." any other software apart from Google Play. Or after I've put over 20,000 well, 20, pounds and six years into the game, Kabam has banned me for, apparent, for no apparent reason. And now I'm going to miss all the new uh, unit store items, a monthly calendar and unit calendar um, are going to be missed. This is a joke. It's always very interesting to see these things, but I, I, you know, you just, you don't know what's going on. Uh, we've been here before where we've seen like phones, like people who pick up a new phone that hasn't been registered with Kabam as like uh, a means that that's that's banned but which was kind of like really kind of like weird so would be interested to find out but as well like the extent a ban for a week right is is a pretty lengthy thing but it does go back to that situation of what i said about how kabam look to ban things and take action but i think there's a little bit of hope on the horizon especially with where kabam plan to go with uh, you know the the future of banning saying here we do not ignore uh, these concerns and we are continuously investigating any cases that arise are reported to us we will punish those that break the rules this means that using exploits applications and modify uh, mo that modify the experience of the game or upset the balance of fair play can result in being banned from the game permanently which is great right that is definitely something that's got to be um, like looked into because this is a very difficult game to create any kind of like fairness there's no kind of like but then it's like it's as well getting the idea of when people have been affected by those that have cheated how of that what's going to happen as a result of that will they be kind of like fairly looked after for the points lost and other things so it's good to see that like part one's dealt with as soon as part two is dealt with there's a thumbs up from me when it comes to like you know the just fluid fairness that can come with a game mode like this. So it's good news. It's good news on the horizon for this. And now on to an amazing video by Nick Koss. Nick has done a fantastic job with this one, especially because we've got Konshu and the way that they've, the way that he's constructed this to have just like 
the interaction of Mr. Knight and also the kind of the changing back of the skies. Very much, if you haven't seen Moon Knight, you won't get some of these kind of like references from what's in the TV show, but it's so cool. So sick what he's done. Even to have an Aegon superior in this that shatters into nothing. But yeah, shout out to Nick Cost, done an amazing job right here with uh, these two uh, the little builds. And lots of people have come out to view Nick's channel, so make sure to go and support and go and check him out in the link in the description down below. Now we've got to do arena results for Doctor Strange and Xerxes. Now here are the results. So for Doctor Strange, 87.7 mil got position 55. Position 455 was got with 30.3 mil. So you can really see a big shift in that. But it hasn't been like a full extensive grind for Doctor Strange based on the fact, you know, it's that the champion's not 12.0 update standards. But still, you can get yourself a nice cheeky little six star Doctor Strange if you want to grind for it. And Xerxes, bit of a difficult one to get any kind of like solid results. This is the best I can find. Shout out to Dragon, who picked up a 39 position with 72 mil. Saw that on Twitter. Well done. Lots of grinding she did over the weekend. My God. Lots of lots of sleep deprivation, I think, when it comes to doing basic arena grinds. Uh, and then uh, 25 mil position 140, 21.4 position 215 for Xerxes and Doctor Strange, respectively. My predictions for round two are as follows. 60 mil for Xerxes, I uh, don't really know on the extent of the um, the kind of the breakdown. It could be case 65 would be better for that one, just for warning. 20 mil for Xerxes seems to be about right based on that there. 70 mil for six star Doctor Strange, yes, that seems uh, to be like, the way they would go. May want to do a little bit more than that, 72 mil maybe. Five star, 30 mil, yeah, seems about right. 455 position with 30.3 mil. Seems alright. So good luck in anybody doing the grind for the round two of this arena. And we end by, as we normally do, by saying thank you very much to everybody that supports the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon. So you're on screen right now. Thank you so much for keeping that love and support to the channel and keep us going through those hard times. Also, those that support on twitch.tv slash Rich the Man Live should be back later on grinding as uh, I need to grab more units, prepare for another Karina's challenge as I did another one over the weekend. And uh, yeah, just get some rank ups and other stuff done. So yeah, thanks uh, very much, everybody. And uh, see you later on. Also check out some other content on screen right now. We got tons of videos coming out here this week. It's going to be a really decent week. Looking forward to it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye for now.